I saw two musicians tear the music industry and an entire country apart. Alien Skin, one of the hottest musicians right now versus Palazzo, a man from a family that demanded unwavering worship. So let's talk. Palazzo organized a concert called Love Fest, despite its odd timing outside the usual love-themed month of February. Palazzo sought out the talented ghetto-raised hitmaker, Alien Skin. During this meeting, Palazzo got enraged by what he perceived as disrespect and physically assaulted Alien with slaps and verbal utterings. A grave mistake. <laughs> Social media erupted with fury. Aliens' devoted fan base, unwilling to tolerate any disrespect towards their idol, swiftly reacted. In response, the alien camp decided to organize a concert on the same day as Palazzo's, an event that began with a slap but would end with a statement. Promotion for the shows took to the city center, revealing the overwhelming support for alien skin. He shut down the city with his electrifying presence, while Palazzo's following seemed lackluster, confined to those he was bankrolling. Twitter became a battleground. Artists took sides. <laughs> Propaganda spread, and even divine intervention was invoked. Palazzo, the impending date, June 9th, felt like Judgment Day, with a Mayanja's head on the game. Amidst all the unfolding events, Balam, a master tactician and prominent figure in the Mohosi army, had already begun moving the chess pieces. He orchestrated a strategic plan. Weeks prior to the event, Balam had a private conversation with the king of Buganda at Resort Beach. The king expressed his love for Palasso's music and Palasso performed at the event. This would later be used to manage the situation. As videos of empty seats at Cricket Oval flooded the timeline, Balam realized a different approach was needed. Balam played his final card, announcing the king's presence at the concert. Understanding the significant influence the king holds, particularly in the central region, this had the power to sway the fate of the entire event. And indeed, it did. Although the numbers may not have been as astounding as those at Freedom City, Balam had reason to take pride in the outcome. True respect is earned through talent and merit. It cannot be enforced through violence. Let this be a lesson. Don't be a palazzo. Otherwise, you may find an alien under your skin. The last lesson is, fear Balam. <laughs>